Everything's a little bit stressful at the moment. <laughs> Today has been really stressful. Otherwise we have to leave the country. <laughs> Today really didn't go to plan. So hello, we are here today at Fortune Town. A few of you after my last vlog of being an MBK, trying to find a lens or looking at lenses, suggested for me to come here. So a few of you told me to, oh, oh. <coughs> I just <laughs> choked on my lunch. So we just had lunch. We have, well actually it's technically breakfast. We haven't had breakfast yet. So I had like a pad noodley Thai style noodle with chicken and Michael had like a chicken katsu and now we're on the hunt for a coffee before we shop for lenses. Oh, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. So I got my lens. Finally, after months <laughs> of research. Josie's very indecisive. No, I just want to make sure I got the right thing. Like there's no, what's the use in spending lots of money and then being like, oh, I wish I got something different or something better, right? Yeah, I've probably been in Thailand, what, three months now and I think I've seen it rain like probably like three times. And now it's raining. <laughs> so we're gonna figure out how to get home in a safe manner without getting wet. Um, and then we have something special to do. So stay tuned for that, find out what it is. Okay, let me check my mom in. Okay, thank you. I was in the shower and as you can tell, I was washing my hair and Michael said, we, we called up insurance, our insurance company earlier as we were renewing our visa in the middle of trying to renew our visa. It's supposed to be able to be renewed for another 90 days and I called up today to get our insurance done so that we can go to immigration and get our visa sorted and extended. Anyway, so I called them this morning and um, I said 90 days, they said yes, all good. We got an email just um, earlier as I was coming out of the shower and Michael told me that they only extended it for 30 days. Um, so now we're on a bit of a time crunch <laughs> because they're not giving us an option to extend it for another 90 days. They're telling us that we have to purchase it for a year. We're not telling them not to go with AXA, but AXA is who we're with at the moment. So right now we just have to figure out what our options are, but it's a little bit stressful seeing as though um, we have to get our visa sorted literally in the next couple of days. <sighs> Everything's a little bit stressful at the moment. <laughs> As you can see, just then it's raining now. I can't go out there to film anything. Oh, today is just not going to plan. <laughs> we couldn't extend it for the amount of time that we needed, even though we kind of thought that we could have. That's what we got from well, that. They extended yours. Yeah, so I got extended for the amount of time, but Michael's didn't, and we they basically said we can't do it, but I got mine. Anyway, so we've basically had to find a new insurance broker um, because they were telling us it was going to take us three to four business days to get the insurance sort of sent to us, and we don't have <laughs> four business days. Our um, visa runs out in like two or three or something, so we don't have that time, and we need to find someone else to do our insurance. Otherwise, we have to leave the country, <laughs> which hopefully we don't have to do. Anyway, it's just stressful. Yeah, um, today just didn't go to plan. I had a video f ready to film and we can't do that now. We have to organize our visa and uh, we might go out tonight to show you like a street food, uh, very popular street food night market just so that you can have something to watch. But let's try and stay in the country. Good, let's go. Okay, we're going to have a little chat because... Today has been really stressful. Actually ended up going with another company because they give us coverage right now on the spot. We paid, it's done. And hopefully now once we go to immigration, everything's gonna be a really easy, hopefully, process to get our visa and to stay. Normally Amazon has really nice coffee, but this one tastes a little bit weird. Michael's off to get a haircut. Now tonight we're gonna go and take you to one of the most famous places in Bangkok um, and go there for dinner. So you're gonna hopefully see, beep, beep, beep. We're gonna hopefully see what that's like later on. It's just been a weird day, hasn't it? Look who's here, after his haircut. Okay, so we're currently just walking now um, down past Siam Square. Oh, and there looks like, <laughs> looks like they're making it into a walking street, not like a driving street. And they're all just doing some construction. But we're on the way now to a post office because we want to send some stuff back home to Australia because we're carrying things that we don't really need. See how much it costs, what are our options, and how to send something home from Thailand to Australia. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna get some street food for you for lunch and we'll see you there. So the first time we came to Bangkok, like a couple months ago, we had really good street food from um, a street just opposite the Icon Paragon. Siam Paragon. Siam Paragon, sorry. And we're like, let's go there for lunch. We're gonna have food. And now we've walked down the street 
and it's not here. There's nothing here. <laughs> there's no, there's no street food. There's no stalls. There's no nothing. So we think the market in Siam is currently shut down just because they're doing maybe the construction I think on so, the other yeah. street. But well, it's not here. So and we're hungry for lunch. So we're gonna go cut across to Icon. No. No, CM Paragon. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'll get it right one day. We're gonna head up there and then head across to the shops, but yeah, we There's tried. so much food in CM Paragon that you probably would go there anyway. So yeah. anyone watching that's not from Bangkok, you probably will end up there eating at some point in your life. So come with us and see what it looks like and it probably gives you a better insight to where you'd actually eat when you come here. There's so many options, but we just kind of felt like some street food, nice and cheap, support local. But no one's here, so let's go across so there. And have even a look. Cheap food court yeah, we'll we'll go to the food court. Let's have a look. That's right. At least we're going out tonight. Bangkok's obviously good and known for shopping, right? So there's some really designer brands um, in this mall and the malls surrounding it. So we decided to come down to the food court and just grab a card with some money and then walk around and just find something to to eat. But there's heaps of options here. There's obviously your chicken and rice crispy pork and rice um, and it's all around the outside sit on the inside and eat like a food court so let's find something there and it's some of the best food you'll get in of course like, it's so good here some of the best and some of the cheapest um, from food courts and malls are a good place to be malls are a very good place to be especially we really like terminal 21 as well so we ended up with a uh, chicken skewers and then a chicken fried chicken biryani um, obviously that's not fully Thai food um, but you can get it pretty much all over the place in Thailand so and it's what we felt like tonight which is okay too so we felt like some protein sticks or protein on a stick basically protein stick, protein stick. <laughs> meat on a stick so we're gonna try this one they just got a plate full of chicken ones oh soft Mm. Yeah, so we're gonna finish eating here and then we're gonna see you later tonight where we're gonna take you something really awesome for some dinner. Some street food hopefully, which is what we've tried to get today. But we'll see you then and hopefully we have more luck. <laughs> okay, so we're home with the new lens. I love it! Did you love it? Look at that. Yeah, it looks good. I love that! So this lens should hopefully be better in low light. So every time I go to like the market at night times or something, this should be better so that you can help have better quality in the night time, in the dark time, in the low lights and things like that. Now what other better way to test this lens mm -hmm. by going to some of the best street food in Bangkok, but at night time. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. They don't know where we're going yet. Let's take them. Let's take ya. You. In Australia we say ya. Anyway, so we're just walking down to Chinatown now and we're just walking along the road, just a normal road and then all of a sudden you have a big temple in the background. Look how crazy that is. Wow. I'm trying to find where we're heading to and I don't know if we know where it is. <laughs> Hopefully it's open. Okay, so it turns out we came all this way and it's closed tonight on a Monday. <laughs> so we're going to go somewhere else instead. <laughs> I knew they closed. I knew they closed the night, a lot of the night, like street food areas for yeah. cleaning on a Monday. The funny thing is, I can see other tourists around doing the same thing. Yeah, I think everyone didn't realize it was closed today. So, oh well, let's go to the next one. Okay, so if I didn't tell you before, which I don't think I did, we went to Chinatown to get some uh, food, and it was closed for the Monday because it's Monday. So we're like, oh, let's go to Asiatic. So we're at Asiatic right now, but it also looks kind of closed. <laughs> well, it's open. It's just dead. It's very dead right now. There's, this big there's a big thing. big boat. It's a, it's a bar as well and a restaurant. Is it? Yeah. A bar and a restaurant? Well, there isn't that much on right now, to be completely honest with you. We just had dinner. I had some pasta with some prawns and Michael had a pizza. And yeah, it honestly, it wasn't my favorite food, but that's okay. Um, we just can't find any street food at the moment. <laughs> I didn't realize this. Well, I should have because the boat's right there. But that's actually legitimately the water right there. Like right there. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Look, there's everything. You can't really see the background's a little bit blurry, but there's um, not much going on here right now. <laughs> Your pizza was good? Yeah. Okay, my pasta wasn't the best, but we're going to go to have a walk around. We did see someone with some juice, so we're hoping that means that there's some kind of street food here. Um, but otherwise, today just didn't really go to plan. <laughs> but as we can still, we can still show everyone what's Asiatic, which is a popular tourist place, yes. looks like at the moment. If you're going to come out on a weeknight, this is what it's like. So, still pretty nice if you want to come down and just have a nice dinner with it. Like, we still had a good time. We did have a good time, There's of course. just not a lot to show you. <laughs> and I've never been here before, so I, I think it's quite quiet, even for, you know, someone who hasn't been here. But 
Yeah. Let's go have a look around and see if there's any um, well, street food. There's a big um, Ferris wheel up there. For reference, our dinner was about a thou, just over a thousand baht. So it was very Western prices, but you're in a really nice restaurant overlooking the river. And so can you really, you know, complain? There's a couple of um, things down there. Apparently these are like also shops and things as well. So Michael's just saying that you'd come here and do your shopping, maybe grab some food by the water as well. Yeah, like you come down with your friends of an evening and like you might have a look in the clothes shops and then grab a dinner and some drinks. So we found a little alleyway and look, there's still not that much open, but at least these guys are. So yeah, there's not a lot, there's not a lot happening, but a couple of things are, which is really, really cool. Dresses, shorts, luggage, it looks like as well. Um, but they mostly look closed, like down there. Not too much happening, unfortunately, but is that because it's Monday or is that just because it isn't busy right now? Oh, I don't know, let me know. Whew. Okay, well, today really didn't go to plan. <laughs> So I do feel like I have to apologize because oh, I had so like, I wanted to show you so many things, right? And I wanted to take you to Chinatown and I wanted to take you to Asiatic and I wanted to take you to buy my lens and to do all this and just nothing worked out today, <laughs> like literally at all. So I'm sorry about that, but honestly, I don't really feel like there's anything else I could have done. <laughs> So thank you for sticking around with me today. It wasn't the best of days, but you know what? I'm a big believer in sharing them as well as the good times and when it does work out. Next video is gonna be really cool. Like it's gonna be really cool. We've got something planned. So make sure you like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on for that because that's gonna be a really cool video and I'm really excited for it. But the video after that will be finding out if we can stay in the country basically <laughs> with our visa so make sure you don't miss that one either so make sure you like and subscribe that means the absolute world to me especially if you made it this far in the video and sticking it out with a not a very good day with me today <laughs> and i'll see you in the next one bye